Hello and welcome to my brand new programming series, Why Everything Sucks. In this series, I will be discussing why everything you love about programming sucks. Java sucks, Python sucks, C++ sucks, and so much more. This series aims to show logic, there's no bias. To help with this, the black and white, at the end of each video, I'm going to explain why each language, tool, or operating system I'm discussing isn't completely crap. I do ask that instead of having rage, illogically disagreeing, everyone in the comments section please have logical comments, hopefully showing where I am wrong, or where I could do better, because as the teacher teaches, I feel he should learn too, especially from his students, or from himself. I do expect a lot of, pe a lot of people to be upset in this series, because I'm kind of sitting here talking down everything they love, but as I use logic, I hope everyone does too. This being said, some of my videos called Something Sucks isn't actually something why something sucks, it's just not as great as we act it is, which is actually going to be a very large majority of my series. For instance, there's me a video called Linux Sucks. Linux does not suck in any way, it is great. But the video is actually not going to be talking about why it sucks, because again, it doesn't. It's going to be talking about why it isn't as godly as we act like it is. Why there are other things that are actually better, and obviously there are so many things that are worse. Linux is great, I love Linux. It is my operating system that I use for programming, that in OpenBSC. However, again, the name of it will be about its sucking. This is just to organize the series and actually makes sense. My first video uh, will be on my least favorite programming language, Java. Why don't I like Java? Before you assume, by the way, I have not actually ever used it. I actually spent a very long time in Java. I've gone as far as writing a 3 game engine, I've messed with Android operating system, uh, the front end, the UI, without any external resources for either of those. I have six years of programming experience, and many of those years have been actually with Java. To clarify, my favorite programming language is actually an extremely low-level, extensive stack-oriented programming language called Forth. It's in it's not a crappy language in any way, in no way does Forth actually really suck, but it does have downfalls, many cons, and I'm going to have a video as to what I love about it and the cons of it, and it's going to be what I love very logically, and what the cons are very logically. This is being said, let's get into the video. The Java programming language. Why does Java suck? Well, it's portable, it's easy to learn, it has great languages. Uh, libraries. It's Android's official language. So how would it suck? Well, these are, while these are through, these aren't entirely advantages. Easy? Well, this is an opinion. I may find Java impossible to learn, while my friend Jake, hi Jake, might find it simple. Don't worry, I don't find Java difficult, as it is rather easy to learn, and has a syntax kind of similar to uh, C, just like most other C-based programming languages. So then what's so bad about it? Well, simple. Nothing works. And... You might say, um, what? And I agree, Java works, doesn't it? Yes, but not how it should or how it is meant to. A basic object-oriented concept. Public members, Java has these, of course, obviously as it should, most languages do. However, these in Java are not how they should be. You do not have any control over public members in Java, as you would in Python or C. This is actually the same in C++, but that is the topic for the C++ video. Uh, so we have a public member, find duck, so that would be public long find duck, return duck, right? We only need to write this once. Not. In Java, you need to write rewrite this over and over and over again. It is very annoying, it should only be able to write this once. This means your code is going to be longer, compile more things, more typing, etc. Uh, bigger file size can actually be a very bad problem on lower level hardware, especially in if you're doing a big project. It shouldn't have to be filled up with constant rewriting. Okay, now we're going to go to the more obvious issue with Java. That's a way bigger issue than this, because the top thing wasn't... It's kind of nitpicking, but still a problem. Uh, so the obvious issue in Java, that people don't like it anymore, garbage collection. And garbage it is. Why? Uh, In-memory cache is fine. Logically, it's perfectly fine. In C, C++, any other language that uses it, it's fine. There's no issue with it. But in Java... GC likes to freeze the entire Java process. This apparently is supposed to make Java better, but define better. Because, like, seriously, please, I've never seen better get defined as freeze more to slow down code. 
This makes it difficult to construct and destroy objects, which is something you're supposed to do in object-oriented programming. This next reason is for you maths fans. X and Y, very popular letters for maths, especially in programming. In game development or anything that requires maths, X and Y are very important and known. But in Java, they're near useless. Why? Because they have the exact same Eurasia. You're gonna get a name clash. Why? Something as basic as generics require different functions because X and Y are the same. Which means, again, more typing. Now, how about we talk about things that aren't that are useless completely by useless i don't mean i don't think they should exist because of opinions but things that java doesn't even need that just slow down the program that it could do without one import why import is you know you kind of need it to import packages why well something package dot something package dot the one thing you need and something package dot something package dot other dot the one thing you need you need these two things they're in the same package well you're done for you must name your classes uniquely, no matter their namespace. If not, name clash error. Happy day for you. The second thing that's useless, constructors, sort of. They aren't useless at all, but they can't call each other. So constructors calling each other is useless because it can't be done. Correction, you kind of can do it, but you have to put the code from the constructor you're trying to call from in the constructor you're calling it from. This takes up so much extra abstraction. Something, again, programmers who love maths are familiar with, and like, especially Haskell programmers. Three, the JVM. Wait, wait, what? The JVM? How would that make it onto the useless list? That's literally just a bytecode interpreter. How does that suck? It, and fun fact, it doesn't. I actually love the JVM. It's great. It's the one thing I like about Java besides the libraries, and I'm not actually kidding. I like the libraries. But why the JVM? Why is it on this list? Well... The fact that it's the Java itself is what I mean by JVM. Why? It's slower than something like even GS on V8. We already have things like LLVM that are making cross-platform unattractive. So why? JVM. Simple, right? Well, speed, of course. That's why it's. That's why we should have the JVM. Just kidding. Even JavaScript is faster. Game development. Why is C++ the industry standard again? May I remind you? I will also do a video on C++ as well, don't worry. It sucks too, but not as bad. Memory? Joke's on you. GC! <laughs> How about cross-platform? Well, it's the whole advantage of Java. Wrong. The times have changed, Grandpa. This isn't the 90s. Although, then writing Java, you're gonna need the, v the JVM. There are other programs that can interpret Java bytecode and execute it, but they're all restricted, broken, and pretty useless. And for now, the health issue! Yes, Java is actually bad for your wrists, and I'm not even kidding. Even with macros and so on something like Vim or MX, you're typing so very much. Of course, you could use an IDE, but I have a whole video on IDE coming shortly. I can type impossibly fast on mobile. Anyway, everyone asks me why and how. Well, here's the simple answer. I did time Java challenges on my phone, where copy and paste was not allowed, which was very painful, by the way. I'm surprised I probably don't have arthritis. Um, but because my only computer back at the time uh, that I did these challenges were actually, um, uh, it was a laptop that can barely handle the Java updater running in the background. It was very crappy. Yeah, another issue to run any Java application was, uh, even as a gamer, you must install Java, which on lower end PCs, of course, not many gamers are lower end PC gamers, but that takes up performance. The Java up, the Java task scheduler actually is pretty annoying and tedious with uh, performance. It, it also takes up storage. Not much, but again, these are both issues on lower end PCs. Um, an exit to is Java is iterators. Um, in my second most language Python, um, most disliked language Python. I'm going to talk about why in the future. Um, it does iterators well, actually. Um, one method, and that's it. Java iterators are tedious because you need to create additional attributes to decide whether or not there are other values if there is a next value in addition to what it already is. Oh, and also, for each doesn't even take iterators. Thanks, Java. Uh, next, function pointers. Rest in peace, Lisp programmers looking at Java. If you want to reference a pointer, you must create a class or an inheritance of a class to pass it around. Now, there are a lot of other reasons Java sucks, but why is it one of the most popular programming languages if it sucks? Or 
in some new research, why was it for many, many years as Python begins to trumpet? Well, yes, it is very portable and very easy to learn. This is mainly a result from it being a more modern language compared to many others, yet isn't so new it's disliked by the past community. Java got car large in the 90s for being able to run on every operating system, although no, just no. Um, but anyways, it's also easy for C programming programmers to learn. Oh, and also Java is dying. It is dead according to some programmers. Why? The largest, the world's largest operating system is currently replacing it with Kotlin, which is Android. Uh, the jobs are for other languages are also rising, and unfortunately for us more low-level uh, programmers, the language Python is also getting very popular. Uh, I'll explain why it's unfortunate in Python's video and why I actually have a huge grudge against Python, which is, again, there isn't any bias towards any of the languages. I don't just like I, I don't just like this to like it. I don't just dislike that to dislike it. I dislike and like things for reasons. I'm a very logical thinker. I don't like opinions very much. So, and that's an opinion itself, which is very funny, and it, that also mentally hurts. Anyway, so, I probably just ticked off a lot of people. So here are some things that if you're one of the people I ticked off, here's some things that I feel like you should consider. Um, one, if you're throwing insults, you, you're definitely showing maturity and that you're definitely showing you lost the arguments. But it's popular. Well, so, crappy music is popular, doesn't mean it's good. And Java's dying. Again, if you're gonna argue, please use logic. I don't like Java, despite my, despite my many years with it. So, if you do like Java, please explain why, logically. I don't want a bunch of, oh, well, you're stupid, you're just bad at Java, you just don't know it. I, cons I would consider myself at least mostly qualified to use it. Again, I've written game engines, I've, rich I've written um, Android ROMs in, uh, you know, C++ and Java, you know, the th the co I didn't mess with the core, so I didn't do much C++, but, you know, mainly the UI and Java. And also, if you're a beginner to Java, I would recommend you stick with it or learn something else. It's your choice, not mine. I'm not here to motivate you from programming. I beg you not to think I am, because this is the biggest, most rising field in the industry. Do not leave it while you st while you still have the chance. Stick with it. Hey, well, um, other than all that, I hope everyone learned something, and I hope uh, to learn something myself again. Java has amazing libraries. I loved 3D programming because of how all the dynamic pipelines I could use. I liked the readability quite a, uh, quite a lot. Again, you have to retype a lot though. And I also like how supported it is. It is very supported. That's one of the big things about Unity as well is there's a lot of support. No matter how bad it is, you need help, you got help. Um, that being said, again, it is my most disliked language. Uh, Python is a very close second, so I'll explain why in the future. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed this video, or at least didn't hate it. Uh, happy programming, everyone, and goodbye.